Welcome to the Ask a Scientist video series. In this episode, we'll talk about fold 80 base penalty, a measurement of sequence uniformity and targeted NGS. There are two important closely related metrics to consider when examining sequencing data following target enrichment, specificity and uniformity. Specificity is the percent of reads on target, and optimizing for specificity ensures that sequencing reads are not wasted on off-target regions. However, that's not enough. You also need to ensure that the on-target reads are aligned and evenly across all targets. That's uniformity. The Fold 80 base penalty is one metric used to measure uniformity. Fold 80 penalty is the amount of additional sequencing that's required to ensure 80% of the target bases achieve the original mean coverage. When ideal uniformity is achieved, shown on the left, then the on-target rate is 100% with no off-target reads and uniformly distributed reads across all of the target regions. The fold 80 would be equal to one. In other words, no additional sequencing would be needed because the mean coverage would be consistent across all targets. However, typical sequencing results often look more like the graph on the right. Here, the on-target rate is less than 100% and the target regions are covered at various levels, including targets below the desired coverage. In addition, sequencing reads are wasted on off-target regions. Thus here, the fold 80 base penalty is greater than one because more sequencing is needed to achieve the mean coverage for 80% of the targets. This chart shows an example of what you might see from a target enrichment analysis. Here, the fold 80 base penalty was calculated at 1.89, which means 1.89 times the original number of reads is needed to achieve the original mean coverage for 80% of the targeted bases. In this example, two of our target regions exceeded the desired coverage. This means wasted sequencing resources there. And the off-target reads are also unwanted coverage and result in discarded reads. The reads with too low coverage mean you will need to sequence more to get to the desired depth for every target. Depending on how low the coverage is, you might need to several additional sequencing runs to reach the desired coverage, resulting in oversequencing of other regions. Thus, achieving a fold 80 base penalty value close to one can greatly reduce the amount of sequencing you need to achieve the desired depth of coverage across your targets. So what can you do to improve your fold 80 base penalty score and targeted NGS? You can ensure that you're using well-designed, high-quality probes. You can utilize a robust and reproducible library preparation method that results in higher conversion rates and library complexity. And with increased uniformity and lower duplicate rates, you can achieve higher target coverage at deeper sequencing depths, resulting in higher confidence for variant detection. Thanks for watching Ask a Scientist. If you have questions or ideas for future topics, we would love to hear from you.